guys, I'm on the way to Barcelona. It's been five years and I'm glad to be doing this, okay? So I will continue the vlog shortly. Buenos dias, buenos dias a todos. I'm in uh, Spain, Teresa, which is um, inside the Barcelona province. Um, I'm taking a walk, trying not to get run over in foreign lands. I'm not sure if my insurance is going to cover me, but um, yeah, guys, I'm here. Finally, managed to travel into a warm destination. And um, let's get this started, okay? I have changed my mind. I'm not gonna go to the uh, retail bar that I initially, initially said I was gonna go to in the last live video because it's like 40 odd minutes walk and it's just too hot. And I'm not ready to do that right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Las Ramblas, Terraza and um, have a look, have a proper look. Yesterday I did go, but man, the heat was intense. I'm telling you, it was intense for me. I'm not saying that I can't deal with the heat, it's just coming from England to this. Even though England's summer can be warm and we've just had a heat wave, I don't know, it just, it was just different, different, different kind of heat, okay? So these are the streets that I'm walking on right now. As you see, people come here and uh, chill and eat the restaurants are like on this side or on the other side and they come and bring their food over they come and bring their food over to the customers like from like this place which is a bar obviously nobody really sits indoors it's definitely too hard to be sitting inside so um yeah at the end of the street there i'm going to take a left uh this is part of the route that I took yesterday so there is a tiny bit of familiarity now I am still getting used to the whole concept of vlogging in another country because um, you know there's this uh, nervous nervousness of um, you know how you're going to be portrayed you know as a, a chocolate man in in España okay Obviously, I could be speaking in Spanish right now and try and blend in, but they'll probably pick up on my accent. So, uh, more bars here. Car. This this feature over here, you can see on the roundabout, it normally has like a water feature where, um, like a fountain basically, like a spring, and the water springs up. So, it's not on right now. What I have noticed, or it's taken me 24 hours for it to process, is that people don't come out um, early on in the daytime, not too much. They go out in the morning to go to work. Um, but nobody's like going on the streets, going for walks, um, chilling in the parks. All of them things are pretty much empty, if I'm going to be honest. So. What normally happens is they come out about four or five, I think, three, four, five. Then from there, every, everywhere will be more packed. Okay. So um, yeah, you're gonna have to forgive me for the dead streets in this part of the video. Um, but I'm just showing you my experience whilst I'm here, and I could kind of probably use this just as my warm-up video whilst I'm in Spain definitely warmed up <laughs> with the heat it feels so good to have this um, this climate man it does it feels good it doesn't like fully drain you but I don't know my first day it was this much today it's not as hot but it's still still humid I mean I'm sweating I don't know if you guys can see but I'm sweating 
So, you know, so if I'm sweating because I'm hot or sweating because I'm nervous or sweating because I'm a criminal. <laughs> nah, not at all. But anyway, um, this is what it looks like around here. To show you quickly. Okay, you got palm trees up in here, which is cool. Lots of like flats and stuff. Yeah, I like it so far. It's quiet. I spoke to a few locals, the two ladies from Nigeria. They're locals now, but they weren't originally locals. Um, but yeah, they spoke English, so that helped. But also I went to um, a Dominican Republic barbershop and they sorted me out with this amazing trim, you know, and a fade, which you won't see because it's under my locks. But yeah, looking, um, looking sharp okay so you never know who you're gonna run into I might run into my future wife probably knock her over and lose that opportunity because I'm not paying attention anyway and as I'm talking about not paying attention I need to consult with the sat nav to find out where I'm going all right okay more apartments over there can see I mean it really still looks like it's COVID down here but it's actually not the case um, in terms of COVID rules um, on public transport you have to wear you have to wear your mask okay um, that's on the buses the trains the trams the on your flight um, if there's a boat you're gonna have to wear it on the boat as well you don't have to wear it on your scooters guys <laughs> um, but in terms of everywhere else as soon as you come off the plane as soon as you come off the train as soon as you come off the tram you can take it off walk around in the airport um, with it with no issues okay now some some parts of these streets remind me of uh, Valencia Spain which again is uh, part of the Catalonia region now it doesn't exactly look like Valencia but it, there is a lot of similarities um, the colour schemes and stuff I don't recall seeing palm trees in Valencia but in terms of having the Spanish feel Teresa and Valencia seem similar Again, I haven't gone into the main part of Barcelona, like Barcelona Central, where Las Ramblas are, where all the thieves try and pickpocket you. <laughs> okay, I've not gone there yet. I'm planning to go there on Saturday. Um, and also, on Sunday, there might be uh, um, something going on. And I'll try and cover it, okay? That's the, the Catalan flag, okay? Although it badly looks like the Valencia flag. I don't know if it is or it isn't. No, it, it is the Valencia flag, I think. It is, but the colours of the orange and yellow are the Catalonia colours, or the Catalan colours. All right. I'm actually really hungry. Um, now, there's a reason why I am hungry. But I'll get back on that in a second. All right. What I've noticed about um, the street names is that they're high up and they're very small, okay? So they're right at the top there. And um, if you've got crap eyes like me, it doesn't do you any favors. <laughs> um, I just trying to work out which way I'm going. Just give me one sec, guys. No, it's not that one, it's this way. With the same turn there while it also is showing that I'm supposed to go straight on here according to the maps I've noticed man like Google doesn't seem to work very well when you go to other places when you go to London <laughs> when you go to London Google Maps is not your friend not properly anyway you have to use a uh, city mapper 
Um, I might try and use that whilst I'm here to see if I got I get any better results. But I'm gonna stick with Google for now because you know I'm more familiar with it and I can work with its flaws. Real ghost town. But anyway, guys, I am gonna cut it from here and hopefully record some more when I see something more interesting. I might go and take a quiet coffee or something like that and um, have a quick snack. Not eat anything yet.